your favorite virtual hairdresser is back Woo-hoo. Well, let me greet first though before all those ones that used to take greeting person i will say oh my god that girl is so rude we came on our page and she couldn't greet us first hi guys welcome back to vintage african hairstyles your number one go-to on how to for all your classic african hairstyles i greet you good morning good afternoon good evening i'm not multilingual like that i only know bonjour um let's not go there let's not go there but welcome back and today on this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make the hairstyle orisha bumi look at how it looks like a crown like oh it's so pretty i love this hairstyle this used to be my favorite hairstyle when i was in primary school and for the gist part so i was vacillating between <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that grandma vacillating i was torn between oh my god my corona my corona schooling is just coming out today i was torn between gisting you guys about when i had my bath with pepper water and gisting you guys about my experience with a yoruba demon boyfriend hmm it was a tough one people but i said uh, let's see how the video goes then i'll decide whether i'll give you the yoruba demon boyfriend gist or the his ex-boyfriend though for people who start saying that i'm having yoruba demon boyfriend while i'm my ex-boyfriend because back when i was foolish see how i've entered the gist now see we start the idea of this hairstyle is to have a shuku in the middle and for the rest of it to go down and drape your face beautifully what you want to do first is part your hair into four equal parts like i'm doing here as you can see you draw your line down first into one half then into the second half remember the point in the middle is where you want your shuku to land that's where you want your shuku to be wherever your middle point is, is where your shuku will be if you put it in the front of the person's forehead the person is going to have a nice horn there if you put it in the middle the person is going to have a nice crown there however you want to do it and then after you've done that from those quadrants you now draw a circle in the middle i want it high up there so after you've done that from those quadrants you draw a circle in the middle but you check where you want your circle to be from that's another reason why you divide it first so that you can have like an even partition so as you can see instead of drawing a circle here i'm drawing love over skill i'm showing you people my skills in this game that i'm a professional i can do this so sometimes people do different shapes in the middle they can draw a heart they can draw a triangle they can draw whatever you want as you as your as your creativity leads you how your creativity pushes you create the creativity create the creation you know i'm just showing you that in case you are feeling you're feeling great and you're in love maybe it's valentine's like valentine's week valentine's day is that week and you just want to you know just want to love <laughs> so yeah that's what you can do you can draw a heart in middle just go you can be as fun as you want with this hairstyle but the traditional traditional hairstyle is a circle they used to draw in the middle i'm just going to do the traditional one which is the circle so as you can see i'm freehand style drawing a circle guys what how many of you know how to draw a circle freehand stand to look like a circle some people's own will look like crescent moon some people's own will look like oval some people's own will look like what's it what's another uh, shape that is close to a circle but it's not a circle but guys check out this freehand circle in fact uh, god i'm i'm an artist i'm an artist i'm a born creative but let's not get distracted here so you draw a circle and you guys guys ah can't remember when you have to use compass to draw circle it might and they not do compass for hair though i think maybe they need to do compass for hair compass for cutting lines so that you can be having that nice whew, circle but guys if you don't if you can, you can come and rent my circle drawing services just look at that circle wow just check out that circle wow haters will say it's not straight but i want to see you draw your own circle and send me a picture and show me show me without compass that you can draw a circle like that now I've, I've been distracted i'm so sorry so after you've done that you know we're all about patterns on this page so you go and do your koroba pattern that's why i first taught you koroba and shuku so that when i'm describing it you understand what i'm saying you first do your four weaves at the side so that you have a pattern to follow so what you're doing is a koroba down so you do the first weave in the front as you can see remember to make it thin pizza slices but remember that your pizza slice is not going to entirely start from the front because the part that should be pointy in the middle has been cut off by the circle 
it's not falling in the middle of her of her nose i try to make it from the middle so it can drop to the side to each side of her face then you go to the set um, the next side one of the other sides and draw another line down so you are going to do like a half pizza slice let's say your pizza slice was feeling frisky and like oh jen what crop top hey god i've spoken you about you know let me just wear a crop top or let me wear a short skirt instead that's what you're going to do so it's like a pizza slice that is halfway and so you draw your third line and now you draw your fourth line so dix this dix okay oh. <laughs> corona has left me so this makes it so much easier not coronavirus so oh, hey i went to corona primary school be cool so this makes it so much easier for you to draw all your other lines they will be even they will have um they will have a pattern to follow it won't be going to the slide hey it won't be sliding to the side it won't be you know having all kinds of errors and mistakes basically so now that you've done all that you just basically follow the pattern that you have drawn and you start to weave and on this note i can start my gist but before i start my gist guys please Help me and subscribe i checked my analytics and i saw that people are watching this video but people are not really subscribing even after all my many begs i'm begging to subscribe i interrupt the video to subscribe i say it at the end please subscribe please it's a serious stuff please just click the subscribe button guys guys please just kindly click the subscribe button it's just right there thank you so much thank you for supporting my hostel so now the gist i can start the gist now hmm. so as i was going between pepper water and ex-boyfriend i've been it's like if you like this so let me just give you the ex-boyfriend home because i know that that's one that people really want to hear nobody wants to hear about how pepper water dealt with me i've had my bath full with pepper water so that's how it was sometime in my 20s don't people don't be thinking i'm 40 it's not like i'm 40 but the way i said the 20s it was in my early 20s mm? and let me just give you backstory then there was a lot of you know insecurity concerning boys and appearance and everything going on so during that insecurity that's how the devil now sent me one during that insecurity phase that's how the devil now sent me one destiny rearranger you know there are some people that that are sent to you by the devil to be your destiny rearranger but the lord will always fight your battle hallelujah somebody amen hmm. that's how the shah sent this boy to me oh the boy is fine he's a fine boy when i say he's a yoruba demon he's a yoruba demon he's a fine boy and me too i like beautiful things have you met my husband it's so it's so beautiful man it's so beautiful so i like fine things i say ah this one is fine oh. ah this one is fine oh. And it won't be a bad idea if I go pulu. Ah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's uh you people be careful what you pray for because as you are praying, as you are putting it out there, the devil also used to hear what you are saying. And sometimes you'll be thinking it's the Lord that is answering your prayer. Meanwhile, it's just the devil that is just giving you what will change your destiny. So uh your prayers shall be careful. We shall know that everybody is listening to that prayer, both the good and the bad. They are all listening. <laughs> anyway, Sha. As I now put the idea out there that it won't be a bad idea to, you know, be a couple. That's how somehow, Sha, we now became a couple, though. Hmm. Where Sha, in my mind, I thought we were a couple, but alas. <laughs> I was a couple. I was the only couple in the relationship. <laughs> ah! Guys, this is just there. Uh, before I even wanted to enter it, I was already thinking that, ah, but then my ever very supportive parents, they used to watch my videos. So is that how they will know that I had boyfriend? <laughs> You know how it is. You just, you know, your parents just never think that you have a boyfriend. All you just have is husband. You don't have boyfriend. But sadly, I had some very unfortunate experiences before I landed on my husband. And so, even though I am a full-grown woman and a mother of a child, ah, let's just say that this just isn't really about me. I'll say it's about me, but it's not really about me. It's actually a friend. But I'll say it's me. <laughs> Alas, I was the only couple in the relationship. But you know. Gosha pretending like it was a couple. That's how my brothers and my sisters, <laughs> I will carry myself. I don't know how to describe this thing in distance, but just imagine like a one hour, 30 minute or two hour journey drive. <laughs> I will carry myself from Agbara all the way to Ikeja. Wait, which Ikeja? All the way, ah, I cannot say the, I can't really say the location. Let's just, let's just call it Ikeja, Ikeja Axis Zones. <laughs> I'll carry myself all the way from Agbara to Ikeja with cake 10 inches cake 
that is high like this, double stacked, like really stacked 10 inches cake. You put now heavy cake is. Not only am I carrying myself there, but guess how I'm transporting myself? Inside bus, you guys. Inside Danfo. So I will now lap my lap the cake. Hey, oh God, guys. As per wife material now, 100 years. <laughs> When I get there, I will now go to the market. I'll buy some ingredients like this to come and, you know, show them my intercontinental skills because ain't nobody make a Chinese stir fry like, like me. <laughs> you know, so it wasn't just him in the house. I'll be paying for him and like maybe five other guys in the house. So it's be like crazy large portions of food. And you know, all of them will be hailing me. Guys, fear friends of guys, they will know that you are not the one. They will be calling you our wife. So there was this one guy that was really having mercy on me because not only was I cooking, and baking i was also cleaning <laughs> and those of you who know me know that cleaning isn't really my strong suits like that as in <laughs> i would rather pay someone to do the cleaning and for me to clean but oh god we are finished wait first so look at the model doing a 360 that is the koroba that is the, yes it's a tutorial video not just that's the koroba as you can see the circle is nice in the middle all the weaves are evenly spread out they are evenly done and you can see the beauty already you know coming out the glory of this hair is already showing now you move to the shuku and you know for the shuku part what you do is obviously divide the hair into four quadrants like you did for the kuruba but instead of weaving it down you're weaving it all up and you know wherever you crisscross is where your shuku is going to be like i mentioned in the beginning and i'm not going to make it straight i'm you know kind of making it pie shaped so that i can just weave it at once now this is a professional a semi-professional method if you know that your shuku hand is not yet straight do the four pattern method where you just you know take the from the sides you first weave the four of the sides and then you do the pattern from there I mean by this time i was already tired i was exhausted i'm like you know i've taught these people how to do shuku they can just apply it so let me just use my free hand to shuku this thing and just you know show some skills as a professional you know what i'm saying hey god i will wake up in the morning madam mama mop <laughs> guys i mop palo i swept and mopped palo i don't know who sent me messages i was doing it i'm like hey father what have I got myself into like this? I don't plan to sustain this thing, even if this relationship moves forward. But I've already started it. This is my wife material showcasing. So, Sha, that's how there's this one young man that was living in the house. Ah, and the guy honestly just really, he felt my pain. Like, I feel like he felt what I was doing and he felt like, you know, this guy is just wasting our time. So, what, when they were healing me, our wife, the guy was using style to, you know, use code to tell me that, ah, auntie, and you're not really the wife like that too. But the way all of them, the way they jumped on him like, hey, oh, what do you mean? Why are you making her, why are you making her feel? Why are you making her? Ah, guys, friends, they are the worst. So in my heart, it rang true that, ah, what this boy is saying, it can be true. Oh, ah, but I just, you know, put it aside. Ah, mm, it's just one of those things. Maybe you just wanted to test my loyalty. <laughs> the excuses you give yourself, Shabby, that's one red flag. Second red flag. My friend's boyfriend, this one, they were in a real relationship. They were not like me that I thought I was in a relationship. They are married now, guys. <laughs> so it was my guy, he was really cool. And then he was really feeling for me. He'll see me, I'll use this guy as my DP. And then he shall somehow knew maybe the guy's main girlfriend. I can't even really remember the story, but this guy sent me, he told me that this guy, this guy is not, he's cheating on you. You are not the only one. He's still, you deserve better. You deserve, he, he tried to send my friend to me. He tried to have the conversation with me. But guys, you know when you're in a relationship, relationship all your brain used to suspend. Like even when one plus one is adding up to five, you'll be like, yeah, but one plus one has always been five. So it's not like two is the standard number for one plus one. You just have to understand that sometimes when, it, when it's five, it's because expression. <laughs> you should be making stupid excuses. Like it caused friction between me and him's relationship because it was almost like he couldn't understand why someone so smart was being so stupid. And then me, I couldn't understand why he couldn't just leave me in my stupidity to be stupid. So you people, that's how this young man was cheating on me, was fooling me, and was telling me 
stupid lies that do not even add up but then somehow like you know as the lie is landing in your heart boom your mind is rejecting it like oh benny stop that but your heart is like oh come to me it makes all the entire sense in the world because no i don't i feel like nobody ever wants to believe that they are being taken advantage of that way nobody ever wants to believe that they are being made a fool of that way that does this person really think i'm this stupid maybe let's see how far this stupidity can go so you tell me that things like oh when he's in a relationship he's very private does not like to put his girlfriend's picture up he can put up any other girl except his girlfriend's picture so that one has removed the the this thing of putting me up on my on dp then there was no status of putting me up on dp on social media or anything so that you know he likes to keep things private then you're not using other girls so you know he he's really smart though so he has given him permission to actually put his real girlfriend meanwhile me i'm there thinking like oh i'm be, i'm the world's best kept secret <laughs> My, my prayer continues oh lord deliver us from stupidity in jesus name amen ah may you never encounter a cheater in your life hey then he will ghost for like maybe a week i won't be able to reach him his number will not go through maybe his bbm will not go through uh, sometimes i just gonna look for him on twitter there was one time i even had to text one of his friends on twitter that ah guys man ah I've been through a lot oh no I, I went through a lot inside that particular relationship looking back now i'm like wow wow for someone so smart you were so stupid wow before hand aramisha i felt my own hand anyways i don't even know how i got delivered from it oh i think one day i just woke up my mind just you know put cello tape around my heart's mouth and said you shut up you are too stupid for me you are destroying us and then my mind had a conversation with myself and said girl the way you are going you gonna go mad and so better end this is gonna hurt you the heart was crying like hey oh god you're gonna hurt me i'm gonna be in so much pain why you want to do this to me you don't like me you don't like me man my mind shut my heart up oh, and i just went and i sent the text i'm like you know we can't do the blah 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 this guy it was almost like a body lifted from his shoulders the way, the speed at which he agreed to the thing because you know also they don't want to seem like they're the demon you know you know they're the ones perpetrating the evil but they don't want it to seem like you know so there was a lot of all that emotional blackmail that used to enter inside the matter so as soon as i said it the way he just agreed i just knew that ah man 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 i entered this one as in i used my two legs to enter this one and then as soon as i did that one and then my heart pained me for like a day or two because yes heartbreak is really is literally heartbreak your heart will pain you you have to you feel like you can't breathe it will affect your lungs gonna say <laughs> after i went through that for a day or two sha and i now sat and started to analyze everything and i now realized that um, one plus one is not five it can never be five because yeah, it makes sense one plus one is two and then it, i just started to connect the dots and then immediately after hey you need to see the freedom with which he was displaying this his girlfriend displaying the relationship and then i just knew that ah Oh my shit, oh, I was the one holding back these people. Russia, we're thanking God. And so that's how the story of, you know, how I got cheated on so beautifully by a Yoruba demon while I was there displaying my 1,000 yards of wife material. <laughs> And how I'm a supportive girlfriend and how I'll be a great wife. As in, all I can say as I'm saying this story is just thank you, Jesus, because, ah, man, it's not a good place to be. Oh, it's not a good position to be. Being stupid and being cheated on, it's not a great place to be at all. It's not at all. But yeah, we're thanking God. I'm happily married now. Still to a beautiful man, but he's beautiful inside and outside. So yeah, guys, just wait on the Lord. He's going to bring you your own. So this is the Orisha Bumi. As you can see, it's a nice crown on the top of the head and some hair dropping down for those of you that like to feel fancy. If you put beads around this, it's really beautiful. And thank you for watching the video. Thank you for listening to my very embarrassing gist about my experience with a Yoruba Dimo ex-boyfriend that was using me to pa.